Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 2 of how to make a giveaway bot and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it so that the bot can understand different times. So for example, if you enter 5M, it'll understand it to be 5 minutes and if you enter 5H, it'll understand it to be 5 hours. We'll also make an interactive setup so you can uh, the bot will ask you questions and you can answer and the bot will understand that and we'll also make a reroll command. So let's start. First, we'll need a function that will convert the time that would be entered by the user into seconds. Why into seconds? Because the sleep function of it asyncio.sleep takes in the seconds, the time in seconds. But the user can enter anything, like they could enter 5h and we would need to convert it into seconds. So the way we do it is simply having a function, it's not asynchronous, simply def convert time. This is the possibilities, it's a list of strings with s, h, m and d for seconds minutes hours and days this is the time dictionary we'll need to use this to convert the time now if i just have a comment here so 5h would mean if i translated it it would mean 5 times 60 times 60 why there are 60 minutes in an hour and there are 60 seconds in an in a minute right so this would be 5 times 60 times 60 that'll be 3600 so for h we convert that into 3600 just assume that we'll be doing this so for seconds there is only one second in a second for minutes there are 60 minutes uh, 60 seconds in a minute and there are 24 hours in a day so this is the time dictionary and okay so the unit the unit will be the last index in the string of the time so this is the time that has been entered so 5 h so the h would be the unit so if the unit is not a possibility, right? If it's not in this list, that means the user entered it incorrectly. We will return negative one. This will be the error code. And another error code is, let's assume this is the value, right? The value will be everything other than the unit. So time, this is string uh, slicing, everything till the last unit, uh, the last index. So everything before that, if it were 500 hours, so 500 would be the value. Now the value, if it is not an integer, so if somebody entered something like um, ih, right? So this is not, this cannot be converted into an integer. So it'll return, it'll get an error and it'll return negative two. So these are the two error codes. We'll be using that later, but simply when it's done, we'll return the value multiplied by the time dictionary and we will be accessing the unit. So. The time dictionary if it were s if we got s from the unit it would give us one so it'll be if it were five seconds five s it would just give us five times one which is five or if it were minutes if it was five m it would give us five times 60. so that's it for the convert function let's now make the actual function okay so client a command and commands dot has role owner so only the owner can execute this command async dev giveaway there are no parameters except for CTX. Why? Because this is an interactive one and we don't really need any parameters. I'll not be using any embeds. I'm just sending that in raw text. You can add embeds. It'll make it look much better. Okay, so await cdx.send. Let's start with this giveaway. Answer these questions within 15 seconds. This is a list of questions. The first question is, we'll, the bot will go through uh, like in this order and ask these questions. So which channel should it be hosted in? and then it'll ask what should be the duration of the giveaway in seconds minutes hours or days and what is the price okay then answers is it is an empty list and we will be storing the answers by sent by the user in this list def check this is a check that we'll be using later when we wait for okay so for each question for i in each uh, for i in questions we will send the question and then we will wait for so client of wait for is a function that waits for something so in this case we are waiting for message the timeout is 15 seconds so if they don't answer in 15 seconds something will happen we'll talk about that later and check so check is um a function that takes in a message right so we will check for this messages author we will return if the author is the same author whoever made whoever sent the message the author must be the same as the person who started the command and it must be sent in the same channel that means the author answered so we will store that message inside of this message variable but 
in case um, they did not answer within 15 seconds if they failed to answer this error will be raised async here or timeout error and we will go into this accept, accept block saying uh, you didn't answer in time please be quicker next time and then we will stop the command so once that is done in else that means if there were no errors raised we will append that to message.content uh, we will not append that we will append the content of the message to the answers uh, list okay so once that is done once we have collected all the answers we will check for the uh, channel first right so the id of the channel is the answers um the what you call the first uh, so the id of the channel will be integer so we'll convert that since this is a string that has been entered the first answer so zero would be the first index the first answer and this is string comprehension uh, not string comprehension string slicing and if i just show you this will be the way the id is made not not this uh, hashtag actually this okay. so the channel id will be integer we will convert this part which is the first answer zero would be pointing to the first answer this is string slicing why do we need this well inside when we mention a channel this is how the channel is actually sent to us the id of the channel will be inside of these angular brackets and this hashtag so we will get the first two so after the first two is the id and then we will go up till the last one so we will separate all of this and we'll be left the string version of the id we will convert that into an integer if we fail to do that that means you didn't mention the channel properly and do it like this that is mentioning we mentioned the channel in front of them just in case they cannot mention and so we just then quit the command so they must answer properly if they did answer properly it will work and then the channel will be client or get channel and the id so this command this function gives us the uh, channel uh, by the by its id okay so we then convert the time so we get the time is answers one and the time is the time if the time is negative one that means they didn't answer with the proper unit they should use this seconds minutes hours or days next time we again stop the command and if the error code is mi minus two that means the time wasn't an integer please enter an integer next time so if they didn't and uh, if they didn't enter the integer properly it will stop and they have to do it again the price will be answers the final answer and that's it for our getting the answers once that is done we can say the giveaway will be in the channel and will last for time seconds you can say instead answer the second the first uh, this is actually the second answer so it will last for that much time and then we send the giveaway it's the same thing uh, that we did in the last command everything is the same title is giveaway description is the prize color is the author's color hosted by we just added this part uh, in the add field the name is hosted by and value is the author we mentioned the author the footer is the same and answer one from now so this is the time from now and uh, my message is again channel.send embed equals embed instead of ctx.send we send it into this channel then everything is the same we fetch the message from the channel and we get the user and we send that in the channel saying congratulations the winner won the prize okay so this is for the command and the reroll command is again the same the same decorators async def reroll we have to take in the channel where the giveaway was hosted and we need the message id so id underscore is an integer and channel is discord.channel this is actually discord.text channel and that's it so message is this is exactly the same as this part except for we are just getting this id that has been entered by the user now if this fails right we can put this aside to try saying if it fails we can await ctx.send the id was entered incorrectly and we will stop the command return 
but if it was entered correctly then we just get another user and that's it uh, the new winner is the new winner and they won the prize so that's it for the commands that's it for the code let's just run this let's save this and let's run this all right let's hold the giveaway and let's start answer these questions which channel should it be hosted in in general i guess and the time can be 10 seconds and the price can be 1 million code coin okay so the giveaway will be in general and will last 10 seconds let's check as you can see we get the giveaway hosted by me let's react and i will win most probably because i don't think anybody else will react and i won 1 million code coin so it works let's actually check if we fail to answer properly let's check and i will not answer actually let's wait for 15 seconds and let's see if the bot will give us an error we can also actually test this again in exclusive i guess giveaway and this is a separate instance so which channel should be hosted in let's actually incorrectly mention channel by saying general and i misspell it as well and the duration can be 10 hours and the price can be nothing and as you can see you didn't mention the channel properly do it like this next time and in recording as well as you can see you didn't answer in time please be quicker next time so it works and we can also check giveaway we can do recording With the time we can mess the time up 19 months okay so the time isn't correctly entered nothing as you can see the time must be an integer this happened because of the fact that s it ended with s but it didn't actually know what to do with month so yep that's it and i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one goodbye